Hello, um, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and um, try to uh, calculate the uh, deflection, displacement at point A. So we're looking for the displacement at point A. And also, we're going to look at the, uh, this, uh, the slope uh, of the shape of the deflection at point D. We call that theta D. So we're looking for this too. Before we, and we, the, the uh, question is to use a conjugated beam method. So the first thing we're going to do, we, uh, we like to draw the shear moment, the, the, draw the moment diagram for this beam. And uh, obviously, the first thing we're going to go ahead, we're going to calculate the reaction. We know how we do this. I've uh, done this in, many cl in class many times. If I take a summation moment about point C, I can calculate the reaction at BY, uh, and then I, the summation of Y will give me CY. So that was the reaction force. And then I have my outside force as 24 kilonewton. From there, we're going to go ahead and draw the shear diagram, then continue to uh, draw the moment diagram. Let's call this moment over EI diagram. I need this. The reason I, uh, this is what I need. So we draw the shear diagram, moment diagram for this beam. Then we're going to go ahead and use a conjugated beam method. And if you look at up in the board, I'm going to put that on the board in a second, look at table 7.2, we can convert this to a conjugated beam. In, uh, in another different universe, in another world, uh, we have something called conjugated beam. Our displacement is equal to, uh, to their uh, moment, that be m a prime. And the slope will be the uh, same as the shear at uh, d prime. And uh, again, take a look on the board what I have up there, and we're going to use that format. We're going to convert this beam to a conjugated beam. Over here, we have a free end. That means at free end, we have a displacement. So on this side, if I have a free displacement, that means in a conjugated beam, I've got to have a moment. So the only thing that can support a moment is a fixed end. That's why the free end looks like a fixed end. Pin will remain the same, and those the, also the, uh, the double pin over here remain the same. So now we have our conjugated beam look like this. And when we look at this right here, this is an indeterminate problem. We have three reactions, two reactions, and two reactions, so it's tough to solve. So what we're going to do, we're going to break it down in uh, section B prime, C prime first, and we're going to go ahead and calculate it. And if I do that, I'm going to draw the uh, uh, free body diagram for this section. This is the C prime, and the reaction be here, CY prime, and uh, we have to, um, then we have the B, Y prime. And of course, we have the loading. And the resultant force for the loading will be down here. And that's going to be, if this is going to be 72, so it's going to be 1 half 72, and the distance here is 8 meter, time 8 meter. And so that's my resultant force, and that's going to be kilonewton meter squared divided by EI. And the distance right here, it's going to be one third of eight, so it's going to be eight over three. That's where it's centered out. And now we have this. We like to calculate the reaction at both ends. And let's take a moment about point uh, B prime. Summation moment about B prime is equal to zero, counterclockwise is positive, and what I'm going to have, I'm going to have a CY prime, it's going to be plus time 8, so C prime Y time 8, and then I'm going to have minus the reaction force, which is uh, the resultant force, which is 1 half 72 time 8, and that's going to be time 8 over 3. That's all we have is equal to zero. So that result to B prime Y comes out to um, 90 C prime Y. C prime Y comes out to uh, 96 kilonewton. That's a uh, meter squared divided by EI. So if we do a summation F of Y, is equal to zero going up is positive, we're going to have uh, 96 
minus this magnitude, which is a uh, one half seventy two times eight equals zero, and b prime y comes out to um, one hundred ninety two kilonewton meters square e i divided by e i. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and move to the other side, try to figure out the uh, reaction on this side. And if we draw the free body diagram for the, right, uh, for the left side, we're going to have this shape here, and we already know Cy, C prime Y came out to 96, and then we have the... Uh, load itself, and this is 72, yep, it's going to be uh, one half, you know, this is 72, we want to define the resultant force right here, and it's going to be one third from this distance, and that's uh, three meter right here. And that's going to be one third of three meter from the uh, base. Then with the resultant force going to comes out to uh, one half seventy two time three here. So we go ahead and uh, calculate moment m prime. So let's find our summation moment about a prime is equal zero. And that should be uh, minus 96 times 3, and then plus 1 half 72 times 3, and that's going to be 2 thirds of a 3. That comes out to 2. And then uh, minus m prime a equals 0, and m a prime comes out to. Uh, 792, <coughs> that's going to be plus right here, 792 um, kilonewton meter cubed divided by EI. All right? Now, take a look at this. We just calculated the moment at this fixed end. And we said in the real world, that is equal to deflection at this end. So if I know if this force, how much displacement causes this end, all I have to do is calculate this. So that's my answer right here. So that's equal delta A. Now, we found that the next thing we want to find, we want to know what is the uh, shear, uh, the uh, slope at point D, or what is the shear at D prime. And D prime being right here, down here. So we're going to go ahead and do another uh, do another uh, free body diagram, and we're going to cut it at point D. We have, right here, we have, let me use a different color here. We have C prime Y, and then we have the uh, load itself. This was 36 from here. And therefore, our resultant force is going to be 1 half 36 times this distance is 4 meter. Right here. This is a 4 meter. That's right. So 1 half times 36 times 4. So that's equal to 72. And in here, we, since we cut the beam, we are going to have a shear. So it's going to be Vd prime. And that's what we're concerned about. Let's forget about the moment. We're not going to calculate that. All we're concerned about this. So what we're going to do is uh, summation f of y is equal to 0. And we're going to go ahead and we have c prime y, which is positive, And that came out to uh, 96. And minus 72 comes out to 24. And 24, that's a 24 uh, kilonewton meter square divided by EI. 
So now this right here also comes out our answer, which is a, a shear that's a V prime, V D prime, which is same as theta D prime. That's it. That's how you solve it.